Alone in the Dark brings back 1920s Southern Gothic horror to gaming. How important is Alone in the Dark to the 3D survival horror game genre we know and love? In 1992, Alone in the Dark essentially invented it, and in 2024, players will get to celebrate that legacy by returning to the haunted Derseto Manor for the first time in decades. This long-awaited reimagining from THQ Nordic and Pieces Interactive is not only a chance to experience the frights of a classic game franchise once again, but also the perfect opportunity to immerse yourself in Alone in the Dark's unique blend of gothic horror set during the interbellum period of 1920s Louisiana. It's a setting rarely seen in horror games, but one fully realized here for both longtime fans of the series and newcomers looking for something different. Best of all, you get to explore this noir-tinged era while following the footsteps of David Harbour's private investigator Edward Carnby and Jodie Comer's Emily Hartwood, who hires Edward to help her uncover the truth behind her uncle Jeremy's mysterious disappearance from the manor. That search through the manor will inevitably lead them to the Dark Man, a new threat unlike fans of the series have faced before. Don't say his name, he's always listening. Spooky monsters are a crucial part of any horror game, but what you might not know is that, in Alone in the Dark, the creepy southern gothic horror setting is as important as the central characters themselves. In fact, it's the main ingredient that gives Alone in the Dark its distinct horror flavor. Popularized in the late 1700s, gothic horror often deals with literal and figurative ghosts of the past invading the present. The best examples of gothic horror typically take place in imposing castles, manors, and crypts. Alone in the Dark Stercetto Manor is an equally intimidating stage for plenty of scares, haunting apparitions, puzzles to solve, and clues to uncover. Though not the first haunted house in a video game, the original Alone in the Dark's innovative 3D visuals turned Derseto Manor into a character rather than just a place. Players were tasked with exploring its ominous halls in search of clues, but often uncovered supernatural foes and reminders of the home's twisted past instead. In other words, you should definitely expect the unexpected in Alone in the Dark, especially when coupled with the twisty, hard-boiled storytelling that comes hand-in-hand -hand with the P.I.s and femme fatales of the interbellum period. The interbellum period was a time when hardened veterans of World War I mixed with tycoons and liberated women of undeniable style at lavish parties scored by the hottest jazz bands. Yet all that was flashy was simply a cover for a new era of crime, vices, and more than a few unexplained disappearances. Of course, with the Great Depression looming, all the drugs and parties would soon disappear too. With nothing to suppress the wartime memories and trauma, a darkness began to grow in the mind of America, the very kind you'll find in Alone in the Dark. Through Edward and Emily, Alone in the Dark puts you in the shoes of two of the character archetypes that helped define that cultural period. While in their shoes, you may be tempted to tap your feet to the moody jazz tunes that set the tone of this journey into darkness. But more often than not, you'll need them to run from the indescribable terrors waiting inside the walls of Deserto, including Lovecraftian. Just like the original Alone in the Dark, this new entry will force you to confront the beauty and terror of the interbellum era, but this time with modern graphics and controls, new scares, and a star-studded cast that will immerse you in the story of Derseto Manor like never before. As you're lured in by the game's fashion, music, and rapid-fire witty dialogue, you'll find yourself sinking into the dark underbelly of the period. Trapped inside the manor with the ghosts of the past, you will either need to find a way to escape or learn what it truly means to be alone in the dark. Alone in the Dark hits PlayStation 5, Xbox Series XS, and Windows PC on March 20th.